This is a legend about a monk who brewed rum in the hills, a story that has been told and retold multiple times over in several places, from army units to college hostels. This is the story of old monk. But to know the real history, we have to go back over 150 years when a man named Edward Dyer established its brewery at Kosoli in the Himalayan mountains. By the way, Edward Dyer is the father of General Dyer of the Jallianwala Bagh massacre. The Brewers of Old Monk is a company called Mohan Meekin. This brewery has been a very long-standing relationship with the armed forces. Their mission was to supply troops with cheer. First, with beer and whiskey made from the Solon distillery and then with Old Monk in 1954. It is probably the only original alcohol made in India, unlike almost all Indian gin, vodka and whiskey, which are all fakes. But Old Monk? It never pretended. People take great delight in the fact that it can be mixed with almost anything, even buttermilk. There are many, including me, who swear by its ability to cure cold and heartache. Old monk. 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 Hercules was a choice rum in army canteens in 1950s, but the introduction of Old Monk saw it overthrow Hercules in not just army canteens but also outside of it. Since then, Old Monk was the undisputed single brand leader till 2002, not just among rum labels but the entire branded spirits market in India. <laughs> I think I didn't like the leaf a couple of years ago, so a friend recommended me and I will be okay. Uh, it's been 25 years ago, 25 years ago. Celebration, I associate Old Monk with celebration, so mm. usually when I was sick, I drink Old Monk and during winter, I drink Old Monk. Occasion, any other party, party, or party, or job party, or any other party, or party, or any other party, or any other party, or any With friends, parties. I can drink it almost for every occasion, but usually it comes up when there are birthday parties or we have less money in our pockets or when you just feel like drinking it, it's been a long time, sometimes like that. Good mock means it has something to do with people, the way we sit and we socialize and we sit with people, you know, how we started drinking it. There's always a connection that you first establish with Good when you start drinking it. So that's what it means for me. When drinks Old Monk, it's like a special day or something. Every other brand tries to come up with intelligent ideas to advertise their products as club soda or bottled water. Old Monk has a grand legacy of being on top without any actor swirling a drink, convincing you that it will make you feel accomplished. Some of the brand elements associated with this brand are strong. Rugged, manly hood. By 2005, Celebration had taken over Old Monk, but the difference was marginal, of less than 1.5 million cases. Really. I like Old Monk. Yes. Old Monk was 99% of the not Yes, a white drum or something. It could well have been an aberration, one bad year, except that it wasn't. By 2011, it was abundantly clear the celebration rub was here to stay and dislodge Old Monk. In 2010-11, the former sold over 11 million cases. Old Monk, on the other hand, barely sold 3 million. Has taken over a large share of its market, particularly with the rise of white rum that is used in cocktails. Monk was the largest selling dark rum in the world for years and is India's most loved export after Anil Kapoor's English at the Oscars. It was overwhelming enough to be nominated. But to win this is unbelievable. It is one of the most well-known Indian alcohol brands outside of India and that popularity has not dimmed. It is hard to see your heroes fall, 
but looks like old monk is struggling to compete with competition's aggressive marketing. But no matter what, there will always be a special place for the reliable monk in this rum lover's alcohol cabinet. Lastly, I would like to end with another fun fact. Old Monk is manufactured in Ghaziabad, a city that shares a border with Delhi and is known for its wide variety of kidnappings. It likes to say that it's part of the Delhi NCR region in the same way that Kambli likes to tell people that he's Sachin's best friend.